The vice presidential debate that unfolded just 34 days prior to the crucial presidential election was an event of considerable significance and widespread anticipation. It featured two prominent figures in contemporary American politics, Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walz. This debate represented a unique opportunity, as it was the only occasion during the campaign that these two running mates would share a stage, allowing them to engage in direct dialogue not only with each other, but also with the electorate at large. The format of this encounter provided both candidates with a platform to articulate their positions on a variety of pressing issues while simultaneously scrutinizing the records and strategies of their opponent, thus offering voters a comprehensive view of the political landscape as the election drew ever closer. From the very outset of the debate, a dominant theme emerged, the contentious and unresolved aftermath of the 2020 presidential election. Senator Vance's comments struck a particularly critical tone as he passionately articulated his belief that the integrity of democracy itself was under threat. He placed much of the blame for this perceived crisis squarely on the shoulders of former President Donald Trump, highlighting Trump's continued refusal to accept the outcome of the 2020 election as a significant danger to the democratic process. Vance's assertion was not merely a rhetorical flourish. Rather, it was a carefully crafted argument designed to resonate deeply with voters who harbor concerns about electoral integrity and the future of democratic governance in the United States. His framing of the issue suggested that the consequences of this denial extend far beyond political rivalry, implicating broader principles that are fundamental to the functioning of the nation's democracy. In contrast to Vance's emphasis on the past, Governor Walls adopted a more forward-looking approach, seeking to redirect the conversation toward a vision of progress and renewal. By emphasizing the need to move beyond the contentious battles of the previous election cycle, Walls aimed to establish a narrative centered on hope and potential rather than one mired in divisive issues. However, this strategic pivot did not come without its own challenges. During the debate, Walls encountered a significant misstep when he erroneously mixed up two critical geopolitical entities, Israel and Iran. This blunder was particularly striking, as it not only raised eyebrows, but also sparked questions about his readiness to engage with complex international relations. The incident served as a reminder of the intense pressure candidates face in live debate settings, where even seasoned politicians can falter under the unforgiving glare of public scrutiny. Throughout the debate, the candidates also faced inquiries about their personal histories and the narratives they present to the electorate. At one juncture, Walls was confronted with questions regarding claims he had made about his presence in Hong Kong during the pro-democracy protests of 1989. His somewhat awkward and unconvincing response to this line of questioning highlighted the challenges that candidates encounter when their past statements are scrutinized. Such inquiries are crucial because they serve to test the authenticity and reliability of the candidates, qualities that voters consider vital when evaluating who they can trust to represent their interests. On the other hand, Senator Vance found himself navigating a complex landscape regarding his evolving relationship with Trump. In the lead-up to the debate, Vance had been quite vocal in his criticism of Trump, labeling him as unfit for office in 2016. This stark condemnation posed a significant risk, as it could alienate parts of the Republican base that remained staunchly loyal to the former president. During the debate, Vance candidly acknowledged that he had been mistaken in his earlier assessment of Trump, signaling a shift in his political stance that sought to reconcile his past criticisms with his current alignment within the party. This admission was not merely an exercise in humility. It was a strategic maneuver aimed at bridging the gap between his past statements and the expectations of the Republican electorate today. As the discussion progressed, the debate also touched upon a range of pressing contemporary issues, including immigration. Vance faced pointed questions regarding his previous remarks about Haitian immigrants in Ohio, a topic that had drawn significant criticism and could potentially prove politically damaging. In his response, Vance deftly sidestepped the issue, perhaps recognizing that acknowledging his past comments could expose him to further backlash. This tactical evasion illustrated the delicate balance candidates must strike when navigating controversial subjects, particularly those that have the potential to alienate key segments of the electorate and influence public perception. The role of the moderators was pivotal in maintaining order throughout the debate, as they frequently had to intervene to manage the back-and-forth exchanges that marked the interaction between the candidates. There were numerous instances in which both Vance and Walls spoke over each other, leading the moderators to resort to muting their microphones in an effort to restore a semblance of decorum and control. This mechanical enforcement of civility served as a salient reminder of the heated nature of political debates, highlighting the challenges candidates face in maintaining composure and respect amid the intensity of live exchanges. Reproductive rights emerged as yet another critical topic during the debate, with Wall seizing the opportunity to place the blame for recent judicial decisions squarely on Trump. He specifically referenced the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, effectively linking his opponent to a contentious outcome that carries profound implications for women's rights across the nation. By framing the issue in this manner, Walls aimed to galvanize voters who are deeply concerned about reproductive rights, positioning himself as a defender of these values in stark contrast to Vance's stance. In an effort to temper the discourse surrounding the Republican Party's position on reproductive health, Vance attempted to soften his rhetoric, suggesting that the party must work diligently to regain the trust of the American people on this sensitive issue. 
His remarks reflected a growing recognition within the GOP that they may need to reassess their approach to such contentious subjects in order to appeal to a broader and more diverse electorate. As the debate continued, it became increasingly clear that both candidates understood the high stakes involved. Each sought to solidify their respective bases while simultaneously reaching out to undecided voters who were often the key to electoral success. This dynamic created an atmosphere charged with urgency, with both candidates working tirelessly to articulate their visions for the future while countering the assertions made by their opponent. The exchanges were characterized by a rapid-fire succession of questions and rebuttals, underscoring the pressing nature of the political climate as the election approached with increasing speed. In the immediate aftermath of the debate, Walls' campaign quickly announced a comprehensive media blitz, signaling a strategic move aimed at capitalizing on any momentum generated by the encounter. This planned outreach included a series of national interviews and public appearances, reflecting a desire to keep the dialogue alive and engage directly with voters across the country. Meanwhile, Vance's emphasis on the necessity for the Republican Party to regain the trust of the electorate revealed an acute awareness of the shifting political landscape. Both candidates seemed to recognize that their respective approaches in the debate would play a crucial role in shaping voter perceptions and ultimately influencing the outcome of the election. Through their exchanges, Vance and Walls not only defended their positions, but also sought to project a broader vision for the future of their constituents. The debate served as a vital platform for both candidates to connect with the electorate, showcasing their political acumen and revealing their strategies for addressing the pressing concerns that dominate contemporary American political discourse. The stakes were undeniably high with each candidate acutely aware of the pivotal role that this debate could play in influencing voter opinions and determining the future trajectory of the country as it approached a critical moment in its democratic process. The vice presidential debate between Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walls was a significant event within the political landscape, particularly as it occurred just 34 days prior to a pivotal presidential election. This debate held considerable weight not only as a crucial opportunity for both candidates to articulate their positions on a range of pressing issues, but also as a moment for them to directly engage with one another and, more importantly, with the electorate at large. The stakes were undeniably high, and the atmosphere was charged with urgency and anticipation, as each candidate sought to delineate their vision for the future while also scrutinizing the positions and records of their opponent. A key takeaway from this debate was the pronounced contrast in how Vance and Walls approached the contentious aftermath of the 2020 presidential election. Senator Vance's comments were marked by a sharp critique of former President Donald Trump's ongoing refusal to accept the results of that election. Vance framed this refusal as a significant threat to the very fabric of American democracy, arguing that such denial undermines electoral integrity and poses a fundamental danger to democratic governance. His stance was not merely an expression of partisan disagreement. Rather, it was a calculated appeal aimed at resonating deeply with voters who were concerned about the erosion of democratic norms in contemporary politics. By positioning himself as a defender of democracy, Vance sought to galvanize support from constituents who were apprehensive about the implications of ongoing electoral disputes. In stark contrast, Governor Walls adopted a markedly different strategy, focusing on the need to look forward rather than dwell on the divisive battles of the past. His emphasis on progress and renewal reflected a deliberate choice to engage voters in a conversation about the future, rather than becoming ensnared in the contentious rhetoric that has characterized much of the political discourse since the 2020 election. However, this forward-looking approach was not without its complications. At one point during the debate, Walls stumbled by mixing up Israel and Iran, a gaffe that not only attracted immediate attention, but also raised questions about his readiness to engage with complex international issues. This slip underscored the pressures that candidates face in live debate settings, where the stakes are high and the scrutiny intense. The debate also delved into the candidates' personal histories and narratives, which are critical in shaping voter perceptions. Walls faced pointed questions about his prior claims of having been in Hong Kong during the pro-democracy protests of 1989. His somewhat awkward response to this inquiry highlighted the precarious nature of political credibility in an age where misinformation can spread rapidly. The scrutiny of past statements is a significant aspect of modern political campaigns, and candidates must navigate this landscape carefully to maintain their authenticity and reliability. The ability to present oneself convincingly and consistently is paramount, as voters are increasingly attuned to discrepancies in candidates' narratives. On the other hand, Senator Vance found himself grappling with his evolving relationship with Trump. In the lead-up to the debate, Vance had openly criticized Trump, branding him as unfit for office in 2016. This stark condemnation posed a considerable risk, as it could alienate segments of the Republican base that remained staunchly loyal to the former president. During the debate, Vance took the significant step of acknowledging that he had been mistaken in his earlier assessment of Trump, a move that reflected a strategic attempt to reconcile his past statements with his current alignment within the party. This candid acknowledgement served multiple purposes. It was an effort to connect with Trump supporters while simultaneously demonstrating a willingness to adapt to the current political climate. It also highlighted the broader dynamics within the Republican Party, which is grappling with its identity in a post-Trump era. 
As the discussion progressed, immigration emerged as another critical issue. Vance was confronted with questions regarding his previous comments about Haitian immigrants in Ohio, remarks that had attracted significant criticism and could prove politically damaging. In his response, Vance opted to sidestep the issue, suggesting a recognition of the delicate balance required when discussing immigration policy, a topic that has the potential to deeply divide public opinion. His decision to evade the question rather than confront it directly illuminated the complexities surrounding immigration discourse, particularly as it relates to the Republican base, which is often divided on these matters. This strategic maneuvering highlights the challenges candidates face in appealing to a wide array of constituents while also staying true to their party's core values. Reproductive rights also played a crucial role in the debate, with Governor Walls seizing the opportunity to place blame for the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade directly on Trump. By framing this issue in such stark terms, Wall sought to galvanize voters who were passionate about women's rights and reproductive health. His assertion that Trump's influence has had dire consequences for millions of women resonated with many voters, particularly those concerned about the erosion of reproductive freedoms. In contrast, Vance attempted to soften the rhetoric surrounding the Republican Party's stance on this sensitive issue, suggesting that the party needs to work diligently to regain the trust of the American people regarding reproductive rights. His remarks indicated a growing recognition within the GOP of the need to reassess their approach to such contentious subjects, especially in light of shifting public sentiment. The debate was characterized by a palpable tension, evident in the frequent interruptions and the moderators need to intervene to maintain order. The dynamics of the exchange often devolved into chaotic back-and-forth moments, requiring the moderators to step in and mute microphones to restore civility. This chaotic aspect of the debate served as a reflection of the current polarized political climate, where partisan bickering is all too common. The necessity for moderators to impose order highlights the challenges candidates face in maintaining respect and decorum during such high-stakes exchanges. Voters who observe this dynamic may feel disillusioned by the spectacle of political debates, leading them to yearn for more respectful and substantive discourse. In the immediate aftermath of the debate, Walls' campaign quickly announced a comprehensive media blitz, indicating a strategic recognition of the importance of sustaining momentum generated by the encounter. This planned outreach, which included a series of national interviews and public appearances, reflected a desire to keep the conversation alive and engage directly with voters. In contrast, Vance's emphasis on the need for the Republican Party to regain public trust pointed to a significant sentiment within the GOP, a recognition that past actions and rhetoric may have alienated certain voter demographics. This acknowledgement could serve as a signal for a potential shift in the party's approach, though the efficacy of such a shift remains uncertain. In terms of Senate analysis, the overall tone of the debate was indicative of the deeply polarized political climate in which it took place. Vance's defensive posture regarding Trump's legacy contrasted sharply with Walls' optimistic and forward-looking rhetoric. This divergence in sentiment not only reflects the candidates' different philosophies, but also speaks to the broader narrative that each seeks to project to the electorate. Vance's alignment with Trump's narrative may resonate with a base that remains loyal to the former president, while Walls' emphasis on renewal and progress could attract voters seeking an alternative to the current political status quo. The consequences of this debate extend well beyond the immediate political landscape. As the candidates articulated their visions and responded to each other's critiques, they also tapped into the deeper sentiments of the electorate, concerns about democracy, integrity, and the future of critical issues such as immigration and reproductive rights. The ability of each candidate to connect these pressing issues to their broader narratives will likely play a significant role in shaping voter turnout and preferences as the election approaches. Ultimately, the vice presidential debate between Vance and Walls served as a microcosm of the larger electoral battle unfolding across the United States. The divergent strategies employed by both candidates reveal much about their political philosophies and the sentiments within their parties. Vance's alignment with Trump's narrative underscores the ongoing struggle for the Republican Party to define itself in the current political climate, while Walls' vision of progress presents a compelling alternative for voters seeking change. The impact of this debate will resonate as the election approaches influencing not only voter perceptions, but also the strategies employed by both parties as they navigate the complex landscape of American politics in this critical moment.